Well, hello and welcome back, my favorite people. This is Astro, and you know what time it is. It is time for our Minecraft survival world. And, you know, it's kind of a server, I would say, just a friend's play. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, we have this guy down here with one... Okay, this went up. This was one, I swear of it. This was one potato for an emerald and one wheat for an emerald. But you know what? Two it still isn't bad. We trade him like that. Boom. 16 emeralds right there. 16 more emeralds just from one farmer. And we get a bunch of potatoes and wheat. We could put two of these guys here and we'd have a full stack of emeralds in no time. And I think we can trade with these like three times a day, I believe. And then over here, we definitely have loot fortune. A fortune book. And then I think this was power five. His was the second one. And then we can also buy some lanterns and some apples from there. And now the apples are going to be very important for today's episode. Hear me out. Very important for today's episode. And if you understand what I'm talking about, then you know exactly what we're going to do today. Today, we need gold. And we also need bartering from piglins. I really want to get into piglin bartering because they give us so much stuff like quartz. I need a bunch of quartz for the floors and stuff and the builds. We're going to need a bunch of quartz. We're going to need a bunch of other stuff. Or, okay, so they have blackstone. We'll probably use blackstone. There's potions. Oh, there's so much good stuff that they give you There's just so much good stuff that we need in there So we're definitely gonna make a bartering trade and hopefully we can get that all done today um, I, I, I know we're gonna get the gold farm done today. Hopefully um, I'll show you and guys. I did say that we were going to get the Okay, we right here. We got okay. We got one piece of another ancient debris. That's that's good and then yeah, there it is. A bunch of magma blocks. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'm not sure if it is. But I told you I was going to get that uh, that camera going. Yeah, 1.17 doesn't actually have the camera. I, I totally didn't even know that. It doesn't even have the camera. I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're just going to have to do old time fa time or old time old fashioned time lapses. And yeah, so let's get to the top of the nether and let's get started right away cuz I am super excited about this and I really Really want this gold. So to get on top of the nether, just come all the way up, of course, to basically bedrock and find yourself this block right here. Now this block is basically, whoa, if we're looking at it, if you come over to the right and you push, F, push F3 and you see target block 127, that's exactly what you want. I just took a screenshot. Now, if you come all the way up here and just look straight up basically and just throw your ender pearl and run and jump, it should go through. There we have it. We're up top. Now, I hear an ender. Okay, he must have fell down. Now, this is the target block that we want because this is the one that we just came through. So, now we need to break this. If I were you, I would definitely bring obsidian to make a portal. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck up here if you don't have a way to actually get down or kill yourself or actually just get through the nether. So, bring some, bring some obsidian, make a portal. You should be good. To break the bedrock, this is our setup here. Basically just two obsidian with a piston, two TNT in back, and of course you need your trapdoor and a lever here. Now, what this is going to do is we're gonna push this lever, we're gonna open this up so we get stuck underneath, and we're gonna come over here and just spam as fast as we possibly can. So hopefully we can get it on first try. Let's see here. Okay, um, ready, go. Spam. Um, did we get it? First try? We got it! First try! Heck yeah! Okay, I didn't think that was gonna happen first try, but okay, we're good. That's all That's all we need. Now we can get up and down. Perfect. I wasn't even 100% sure if this was the exact spot we were supposed to break, but we had two chances here. So now it's time to start building. We now have the basic killing chamber done here. And technically all it is is just a bunch of minecarts. And the 24 minecarts, they drop in there and they kill them. Now there is, I did take this off YouTube because I was, uh, wasn't 100% sure. I've made it before. I know how to make it. It's just making sure that I know how to make it. Now this is all basically set up. I didn't want to do this in a speed run because I knew that this was going to be a lot of tedious work. And it just wasn't very good for a speed run or a... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about third person time-lapse, but this bigger part I think is a great opportunity for a first time-lapse in this series and that's what's gonna happen
have a fully functioning gold farm and it's looking pretty good it's looking very nice uh this thing is pretty insane once i'm the only person online because once there's more people online it's kind of it's very laggy the server is very laggy it's the server is not on the greatest pc right now we are getting that work done so hopefully we will have a not so laggy server here in the future but when I am the only person on and I am ready to rock, this thing just produces levels. I was at level 80 before I died. Yes, I died. And I'll explain in a second as why I died. I've been given, so I gave away 16 gold blocks um, just for a payment of health. And this is kind of where we're at with gold. I, I'm not sure what, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure what this actually is all together. I haven't put it all together yet, but we now have a fully functioning gold farm. And I'm super excited because this is the next step to the next farm. And before we even get to that farm, there's something else that I have to admit. I was working on a farm and didn't even think to, to it didn't even occur to me. I was starting and then I was like, wow, I could be recording this and making another time lapse. But instead, I am adapt and, you know, we'll have to just do another time. We're going to. It's an iron farm. All right, we'll head down there in a second. I, I made an iron farm because we're going to need a bunch of iron for this next build here. And we're also going to do another time. This is a trifecta, tri, trifecta farm here. We're doing three farms, one episode, three time lapses. I hope you guys are absolutely ready because, oof, so many farms, so much good stuff. We're getting stuff done today. It looks like we're having a little bit of iron going spawn on issues. Um, th that, that's not supposed to happen. Do I have? Okay, I have enough here. Now, before you even start, this is my design. I was like, I kind of came up with it in my hardcore world. I was trying to figure out ideas. I was like, how am I going to make this efficient as possible with one zombie? And this is kind of what I came up with. It kind of looks like a drill. We have the zombie in the middle here, just bouncing up and down. His name is Doby. And these guys kind of just, they can't really get out because they're a little bit taller than us humans. They're little tall heads. So they actually can't get out here, but they can see him and they can run back here and kind of be safe a little bit, but then he bobs up and down so he can be safe to sleep because they need to sleep at night. So this is actually working very good and it produces usually two golems at a time. Did this guy jump in? No. Okay. So we got to get rid of him. Otherwise we're going to kill spawn rates here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't. This is, this is how I died. This, I, uh, we messed up and they were spawning all outside because I didn't uh, spawn proof this floor here. And th th there's just so many of them spawning and I had to get rid of them before they killed my zombie because they killed my zombie once already. And he came and he just one shot me. One shot me with full diamond armor. And I was like, how was, how was this happening? And as you can see, there's so much lag right now because people are just AFKing. <sighs> we need to make a rule that there's no AFKing at the moment because this is... Oh, shoot. I'm out of arrows because this is a little ridiculous. Uh, please, please burn. All right. We need to spawn proof that. And we are going to AFK here with a third person camera here and see how much iron we can just get. That was only about 30 minutes of AFK. I went and took a shower and got a little bit of other things done before we got back. And I know I forgot to even just take out all the extra iron that was in here before. But I think we got about a stack and a half in this chest. And I think we got about two stacks and a half in this chest. So that's actually pretty decent for only... Uh, hello? For uh, only 30 minutes. That's actually... I think that's fairly good. I think it's going to take a little while for us. And it's super slow because, you know, other people are online. It's, it, it just has its slowness and it could be sped up more. But anyways, yeah, we're going to need a lot of this. So it's going to be a lot of AFKing here for a little while. Uh, I'm going to do some more stuff. We're going to hopefully get some stuff done here, get some stuff set up. But... have 
a fully functioning piglin bartering farm. And this thing is massive and looks amazing. Not really. It, it doesn't look amazing, but it does serve a good function. I have been uh, collecting a some gold here, just kind of been AFK here and there. So we got a couple stack, few stacks of gold here. Uh, we're just kind of on a couple server issues with the lag. It's just, it's not on the best PC, like I've said, but we're trying to get it all figured out. Now, let's, let's put this baby to the test. We're going to in one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half stacks of gold. Now I've already ran this a little bit. As you can see, there's some stuff down in there. So this isn't going to be a test of how much stuff we actually get. I just want to see how much stuff we, okay, well, let's look through the chest and let's, I guess we can see what we're all going to get here. So, okay. 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 Good. Good. That's not very many. Not many. Not many. Not too much. Too much. Not too much string. Five fire charges. 54. 12. About a stack. Then we got those. Okay. Let's try putting the gold in. Let's turn it on and let's see what's going to happen here. I don't know how long this is actually going to take. I feel like it's not going to take that long. It does 24 a piece and watch how fast that goes. Flick this bad boy on and throw in the gold. Perfect. Now they should drop it. And dropped it. And it should kick it all out and go into the hoppers. Perfect. Yes, that is what I'd like to see. And perfect. Now that is just for overflow. If anything is just too much, then it's just going to throw it in there. And we don't have to worry about it. And then if we ever need something, we'll just have to you know, run it again. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, it is now empty. It's just finishing up its cycle. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we gained maybe three or four stacks. Plus, uh, thinking, oh, we got some of the third chest now. Uh, we got a little bit more gravel there. Some of the third chest as well. Quite a bit more arrows. Uh, yeah, uh, quartz, decent amount. Iron, full sand, bricks, bunch of ender pearls, string, fire charge, frying obsidian, obsidian, leather, and a bunch of crap, it looks like. Stuff we really don't want. We're getting a bunch of, which these will have to fill up eventually. And that is all for today's episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed. We got quite a bit of stuff done. Oh, it's good. It's great. We got this iron farm going, and it is running pretty decent now. Now we have a gold farm as well as a piglin bartering trading farm. And oh, is it working fantastic. And that's an issue. Anyways, guys, yeah, I, if you can see, I do have a shulker box before we go. I was helping Klaus out building his gas farm because he needs a bunch of gunpowder. And so I helped him out with his gas farm and he's like, here, you can have like five of these. So he gave me like five shulker boxes. So now we have five shulker boxes and that's awesome. That's going to be super helpful. Thank you, Klaus. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Deuces.